Okay, what's going on everybody? My name is Mang. And uh, more board games, yes. Yet another one. I'm not done yet. Um, so yeah, we've mostly been doing a lot of like kind of dungeon crawl things. It's all been kind of just cooperative games but leaning towards fantasy combat kind of brawls. Uh, the one we'll be looking at today is a little different. It is a cooperative game, so that means, you know, we can play it solo and it's all good. <clears throat> you're playing against the game. You know, you're playing against a scenario. Um, this one... Now, cooperative games... I don't know, kind of, I'm, hit or miss, I guess. The heavier the co-op game, the more I'm likely to enjoy it. Light co-op games, I really just hate, like, Pandemic or uh, Forbidden Island or, um, Pandemic. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I just really can't stand those light co-op games, because... It's such like an alpha gamer thing. I tend to be the alpha gamer, and it's just... Uh, uh, what's the point? I don't know. I, I just don't like it. The heavier it gets, though, the more it intrigues me when there's just more and more and more variables involved. Um, and that's why we've been doing all these, you know, technically co-op games. Uh, we're playing against the... Um, playing against the board, playing against the game. It's been interesting. So this one, Robinson Crusoe Adventures on the Cursed Island. This is a pretty heavy one. This is a 3.78 uh, weight uh, out of five. So it's pretty damn heavy. I don't think that's the heaviest game I've looked at. Uh, no. Kingdom Death, I think, is the heaviest at 4.25, which is kind of interesting, because it's not... Kingdom Death did not seem that hard to, like, get started and learn. Um, and I think that's really a credit to Kingdom Death, is that it's really easy to get into and just start playing. <clears throat> Whereas the complexity of it just builds and builds and builds, rather than some games like... I don't know, sword and sorcery, where they just smack you over the head with the complexity immediately, and then it doesn't really build from there. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, so this is a pretty heavy game. Uh, it's also kind of an old game by, you know, board game Zoomer standards, I guess. Uh, 2012, so this is now nine years old. But uh, it still holds up. It's actually... It's been on the BGG hotness for a little while recently because <clears throat> they're doing another, they're doing a collector's edition or something like that on Kickstarter, I think. And so, yeah, it's sort of been blowing up again. The other game that I'm going to look at, I'm already telling you that I'll probably make a video about this, is Spirit Island. Spirit Island is a very hot game. It's ranked 12 overall very high, and uh, it's another co-op game, kind of like this, weighted 4.01, so even heavier than this. I mean, 4.01, you're getting, you're getting up there, man. Uh, but anyways, let's, let's talk about Robinson Crusoe. So, right, we have a scenario to pick. We're, of course, going to pick scenario one, Castaways, where we just uh, end up on this island and we got to get uh, sorted. We got to get sorted. We're going to be playing one player with uh, pretty much everything default. This is a really interesting mod that lets you customize a lot of things as part of the scripted setup and things like that. Uh, you don't see too many mods that are this robust with their setup. And this nice uh, setup screen and things. Variant rules for different decks and house rules. And uh, it's pretty cool. But we're going very basic. And uh, you get to watch it all get set up. Okay. So, 
Uh, by default here, we have three characters we can choose from, and they are basically defined by their occupation. We have the explorer, the carpenter, and the cook. Obviously, the explorer is best at exploring. <laughs> the carpenter is best at carpentry, and the cook is best at cooking. Um, you'll notice that they actually have different health tracks, which is interesting. Um, I think they actually have different numbers here. Uh, no, maybe, but yeah, the Explorer actually has one less health. That's interesting. Um, okay, so, right, the health things is a little different. Um, the other difference is they each get their own unique invention. <clears throat> so they each get their own, uh, invention card that if you pick them, you can invent that during the course of the scenario, uh, to provide a unique benefit. Uh, and then they have each four special abilities that are primarily based on, I think, that, yeah, they're all based on discarding or spending these determination tokens that you can obtain throughout the game. So they're not really spammable abilities, they're not passive abilities, these are all kind of active things. Um, and again, they're related mostly to their profession, so what you'd kind of expect. There's a lot of little things to juggle in this game, there's a lot to do. Um, and obviously, primarily, you're going to be exploring stuff, you're going to be building stuff, and you're going to be trying to obtain food in order to stay alive. Um, those are three big things. That's not the only things, but those are three big things. So let's look at the cook. Um, can discard two determination points to heal two wounds by eating one food. Okay, that's not terrible. Yes, food does not normally convert to wounds by default. So you don't normally heal by eating food. It's just you need to eat food in order to not take wounds, actually, every day. Scrounger, you can discard two determination to reroll any gray die. Um, that's pretty much useful for when you're gathering stuff. Uh, so as an action, you can go out and forage for resources and stuff, and you might have to roll gray dice as part of that, which could be bad. That's not terrible. Stone soup. Discard three points to get one food. Pretty simple. And hooch. You can discard three points to cancel one rain or change a snow into a rain. I don't know how that makes any sense but we won't question it. Uh, so obviously, yes, mostly based around food, gathering food, things like that. The Carpenter can discard two points to spend... Uh, one wood less during one action of any type. So for anything that requires wood, she could spend points to have it require one wood less. For example, this would be like um, building a shelter. Uh, so building a shelter, you need two wood or one fur, I think, is... Um, I'm never going to find that rule. <laughs> uh, let me just see. Okay. Yes, okay. Two wood or one fur. So instead, she could just make it cost one wood if she spent three or two points. Craftsmanship, discard two points to reroll any brown die. So similarly, brown dice can be rolled possibly... Well, building stuff to make more complications. So there's that. Uh, new idea, discard three points to draw five invention cards from the invention deck and choose one of them. So normally, 
by default, these inventions that have been thrown out here, a lot of which are... Um, a bunch of them have been randomized from the deck. So by default, these are just set in stone for the scenario, but this would let you add to that and potentially get something new. Uh, and then Handyman, discard three points to get an additional... Uh, an additional action for a building action you take. Okay. And then Explorer... Uh, Reroll any green action dice. Those are used when exploring sometimes. Reconnaissance, discard two points to draw three island tiles from the stack. Look at them and choose one. Putting it on top. Motivational speech. You can discard three mot uh, determination points to increase morale by one level. And scouting. Discard three points to draw two... Uh... uh what is that symbol? Oh, discoveries. Right. Okay. Uh, let's go with the carpenter, I guess. There we go. Brown for carpenter. Okay, we're not going to need this, but you can see everything gets... Uh, Moved over. It's so, alright. Health. Obviously, we were at full health. Uh, this is your normal wound tracker here. On your portrait, you have special wounds. So sometimes you can take special wounds to your head, your arm, your chest, or your legs. These big brown chunky pieces are... are I realize now this uh, ambience is going to get kind of <laughs> obnoxious. I was hoping for just like... I don't know. I don't know what I was hoping for. Just like music. I don't. All right. Let's be real clear. I don't want. I don't want ambience. I want music. What is this? All right. That's fine. Adrian von Ziegler is always good. Okay, these two big chunky brown pieces are our action pawns. So we're going to be using these each round to do different actions. You'll notice we only have two of them. We can only do two different things each round. And there's a lot to potentially do. There's actually seven different actions we can choose from each round. Uh, what's more is that uh, for a lot of them, if you only put one on an action, you have a risk of failure. You have to roll dice uh, at that point and risk failing it completely. If you put two on one action, uh, for some of them, you are guaranteed a success. You don't have to roll dice. So that makes it a little bit uh, challenging. Okay. Then this, this is the carpenter's special invention that she can make um, by spending two points, I guess. She can make a snare which would put a plus one food icon on the tile with your camp. So basically every round you'd get an extra plus one food because you're you're putting out traps for a rabbit or whatever. I don't think there are many rabbits on deserted islands, so I don't know what the snare catches. Crabs? I don't know. All right. So yeah, we're pretty limited, obviously, in our actions here. But... There are some special rules to accommodate us. If you are playing with two players, you get Friday. Look at Friday. You know, you got Robinson Crusoe, even though we're not Robinson Crusoe, but we get Friday. Friday is basically just a helper. Um, He's not affected by a lot of things. He doesn't consume food, which is great. Um, he does have health so, or wounds, so he can die. Um, uh, so that's not great, but he's got an action pawn here, and we can basically do whatever the fuck we want with this thing. Uh, we can have him go and build stuff for us, he can explore stuff for us, um, he could fight beasts for us, you know, he can do anything a player can do for the most part. Um, but, you know, he has a risk of getting wounded and dying and all that, so... Another thing that I could do with him is have him aid 
one of my actions in order to guarantee success on something so I don't have to roll dice, which is pretty good. Uh, so obviously if you're playing with one player, one character, you get Friday as well. But if you're playing with one character, you also get a dog. It's a dog. Dog can't die, doesn't have any wounds, doesn't eat food, isn't affected by anything. And it's another action pawn, but he can only do two things. He can explore for you, so he can scout out new tiles and keep searching the, the map. Or he can hunt. So he can hunt for you. Which is kind of odd, because... Hunting involves, like, weapons. Um, hold on. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Dog. Hunt or explore actions only. He cannot die. That's pretty much it. So... I don't have all the rules down 100%. We're going to be looking stuff up, I am I can guarantee, but I've got most of the basics down. Um, we start with two random starting um, equipment. So we've got an empty bottle, which we can use to add a plus one weapon for if we ever want to hunt something. And we got the storm glass. We can roll the weather dice uh, before the action phase, but resolve the outcome normally during the weather phase. So, yeah, okay. Normally, you roll the dice during the weather phase and you resolve them during the weather phase. This lets you sort of prepare throughout the round for the weather effects. That's fine. All right. All right. <clears throat> so, scenario one. You are castaways on a deserted island. It is the end of summer. You have to prepare for winter, build shelter, roof, and palisade. It will be difficult to survive during tough months of autumn and winter. You also have to build pile of wood so you can fire it when you spot ship on the horizon and call for help. Yeah, I mean the English here is a little... It's a little iffy. Goal of the scenario. Build a fire item and the depicted pile of wood. You can put any number of wood cubes on the pile, but no more than one column per round. You can put wood on the pile before action phase. If it's 10th, 11th, or 12th round, and players have built pile and fire, they win. <laughs> okay. So, in normal English, our goal is to build the fire item, which is right here. In order to build this fire item... We need to scout out a mountain. That's what this top part means. We can't build this until we have found a mountain. I don't know why that is, but it is. So once we've found a mountain, we can spend uh, some stuff to, to, to build a fire. Uh, we also need to build a giant pile of wood as depicted by these squares here. Um, so it says we can put any number of wood cubes on the pile, but no more than one column per round. So on one round, I could only put one here, then I could have only put two here, three here, so on. And if we make it to the 10th, 11th, or 12th round, and we have done both of those things, filled the pile and built the fire, we win. Okay. Um, these things are discovery tokens. So I, if we get a hold of these special discovery tokens... Uh, by exploring, we can spend them in order to get some benefits. Um, herbs to restore health, pirate saber to add weapons, three determination points, or oil, which adds two wood only for the pile. I don't know how that works, but it is what it is. There's also victory points, but we don't give a shit about that. We just want to survive. Um, then each scenario has two special inventions that you can build that are on listed on this sheet. So by spending a rope, a fur, and a wood, we can build a mast, which adds three wood for the pile. The hatchet, if we found a mountain and we spend a wood, we can add a plus one wood tile token to our camp. So then every round we'll get a free wood, which isn't bad. Okay.
that's pretty much it. Um, the other thing here is the weather dice. So for the first three rounds, we're not going to be rolling any weather dice. Then for four, five, six, we're going to be rolling with the orange one, which is representative of um, rain. And then seven through the end of the game, we're going to be rolling the, the rain die, the winter die, and the wild beast die. So that'll get a little bit trickier every round. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think we should just kind of get started and get going. Um, right, so the uh, each round goes through a number of phases. Uh, we skip the event phase in the first round, so we don't have to worry about that. Then the morale phase. So your morale can go up or down here. If it's positive, you gain determination points and maybe even heal a wound. If it's negative, you lose determination points, which is bad. And if you can't, that's a, one of the big rules for this game. If you ever need to discard um, anything, if you need to discard determination points or resources or food or whatever, and you can't, you take damage, you take wounds. Now, the solo rules here says morale is increased by one at the start of each morale phase before the effect is resolved. The character is simply happy to be alive. Isn't that swell? So that means that this is going to increase to one and I'm going to get a determination point. Which, of course, is right here. All right. So there you go. That's a good start. Next, we have production. So, wherever your camp is, you get wood or food, depending on what's on the tile. So, you can see our island tiles right here. It's got a wood icon, it's got a fish icon. So, we are going to get um, a wood. Actually, this doesn't go here, does it? It goes... I need to double check this. I don't know if this goes... Uh, throughout the round, while you're doing all your actions and you're gathering resources and stuff, you don't get that stuff immediately. It goes... you get it at the end of the round. Uh, but production might be different. Yep, you get them immediately. Okay, so they're gonna go here. This is the active resources. We got a wood and a food. So we can spend the food and the wood during this round if we so choose. Um, now, as we explore more tiles, I can get rid of this. As we explore more tiles across this little board, um, they're going to have different icons on them. Some might give two wood or some might give two food or I don't know. I, I have no idea. Um, and we can move our camp across the board to a different tile to try and get different benefits during this production phase. But right now, one wood, one food is pretty balanced and it's all fine. Uh, okay, then we get to the action phase. So this is a two-step process. First, you're going to place your pawns on the actions you want to do. And then once all the pawns are placed, you then carry out those actions in, in a specific order. So one through one through seven. Uh, basically, looking at this bottom thing, it's like left to right. So, resolve first would be this threat board. Uh, as we draw events and things like that, um, new threats are going to be added to this, which basically generally need to be dealt with <clears throat> with an action, uh, or they'll eventually fall off and they will do something bad. So, we actually have one to start with. It's food crates. You notice food crates scattered along the shore. So, nothing will happen if this falls off, but we kind of want to do something with it because it's a benefit. If I put one action here, I'll get one perishable food. That's the banana and the... coconut, I think? Possibly? 
Probably that would make sense. If I put two actions here, though, I get a perishable food and I also get a non-perishable food. Um, all of your food, all of your perishable food by default, if not consumed at the end of the round, will go away. You lose it. There are some inventions you can get which uh, let you do some stuff with that and maybe keep some food. Uh, but otherwise, non-perishable food does not go away at the end of the round, and you can sort of bank it. Okay, so that's something to consider. Uh, next would be the hunting action if you wanted to do that, but we actually are not aware of any animals in existence, so I can't hunt anything. Then is building. So... <clears throat> building, you can build these three things, or four things, sorry. You can build a shelter, which changes your camp token from this to this, so that tells you you have a shelter. Um, pretty, I mean, some things might affect it, but basically, if you don't have a shelter at the end of the round, you take a damage. From just... <laughs> hail? I don't know. Uh, you take a damage. So that's something that would cost us two wood one f or one fur. Obviously, wood is easier to come by than fur, but we do need wood to win the scenario. Uh, next is a roof. So this can be upgraded uh, up to four or more, I guess. Uh, that might be what that's implying. This is used to protect you from weather effects. So the shelter by default does not protect you from weather. You need you need a roof for your shelter. And then the palisade. This protects you from like wild animals and things like that. So that can be built as well. Uh, then finally, this is the uh, weapon tracker. So this goes up to 10 and you need more and more powerful weapons, a higher number, in order to defeat more powerful beasts. So, I'm not going to sweat that too much right now, but that is something to consider. Now, let me just... Okay, so the roof and palisade cost is... Uh, um, is the same as the shelter. So increasing either of these also costs two wood or one fur. So it's a little pricey. Shelter is obviously the the most important. Okay. In addition to those four things, there's also the invention cards. So some of these require resources, but actually most of them do not. Most of them just require you to have scouted out a specific type of tile. So, I don't know if I have a list here or not. I don't think I do. Um, but like this right here, this is a beach one. And so you can see this shovel. You need to do, have seen a beach tile, and we have, so we're fine. Uh, a river, I assume, the mountains, hills, I don't know what this is, a solar eclipse, I, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. Um, yeah, so some of them just require the tile, some of them require you to have, like, another invention built before this one. So for the belts, you need to have built the knife, and you also need a fur. Um, shortcut, you need to have built the map, right there, see? Um, and you also see the scenario specific ones over here. Okay. So some of them don't really provide any benefit other than just this symbol. So this is used for other things, such as you need to build the rope in order to construct the mast to get the plus three wood. Um, but other ones, of course, have very clear benefits. The dam gives plus two non-perishable food. I assume that's just, like, when you build it, you just get the two food. Um, 
The map gives you a free action every round that you can spend on exploring. So that's nice. Um, the pot. During the night phase, you can convert a perishable food into a plus a healing one wound. So if you have extra perishable food, you can do that. Stuff like that. Uh, the bed. This changes, this upgrades the rest action in order to give you a determination point and heal two wounds, which is pretty good. Uh, the belts gives you a free action every round just for gathering. So that's nice. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be building stuff. Make no mistake. Then there's the gather action. So this lets you gather a resource from a tile. So if I put it on this wood, I here I could gather one wood from this spot. Um, from each... From one source, you can gather only once per round, so you can't just sit here and farm all the wood in the world. Um, I mean, you can, you just have to spread it out. I could also gather a food. So that's gathering. Uh, and then exploring is just scouting out to look for a new tile. These decks don't come into play normally. But sometimes you'll be told to put these tokens on there. And when these tokens are on there and you want to do that action, that's when you have to draw a card first. So if this token is on the Explorer action space, the next time an Explorer action is performed, an Explorer adventure card must be drawn. OK. Yeah. So, uh, right, so those are those three big ones. Then there's the setup camp action, which you get two determination points and it increases morale by one. And finally, the rest action, which by default just heals one wound. Okay, those are your seven actions you can do. Obviously, a lot of choices all things considered when you only have like two pawns well plus these two so um the dog can only hunt and explore so he's always going to be exploring for me right now so i think that means we just put him on a tile and that's where we want him to go let's see double check the explorer uh, you're right, you gotta explore adjacent to at least one already explored tile. Uh, ba 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 ba. So if you assign two pawns, uh, to exploring, it automatically succeeds. If not, if it's only one, uh, you have to roll the three dice, and we'll get to that. Yeah, so it could fail, but I don't think he can he can't take damage, so he's really the best bet to explore. OK, so that's what the dog's going to do, um, because we need to find the mountain in order to get the fire. The fire is important half of our victory. I'm debating about the expedition for food. I don't want to commit two to it just to get... The thing is, like, I'm one person. These two don't even eat food. So I already have the one food I need. Getting a perishable food in addition to that won't... I'll just waste it. It's going to go away. So it's pointless. Um, we want wood. We definitely want the hatchet. I mean, that's that's a no brainer. But for that, we need to get the mountain. The only thing we can really build right now is the shovel. And I don't know if the shovel's actually used for anything here. So it's not really a good bet. Um. 
we do want wood. So we're definitely going to be assigning one thing to gather some wood. Now with that, if I only put one on there, I do have to roll the brown dice or I'm sorry, the gray dice. So I could fail. Which means I'm kind of inclined to put two on there. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll put we'll put Friday on there. Help us out. Um, beyond that. Maybe setting up camp. Because the termination points are going to be pretty useful, uh, especially like discarding two to spend one wood less during any action. That's pretty good. Or discarding three to basically get a helper for a building action so that it succeeds. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Don't know if it's the smartest plan, but that's what we're doing. Okay, so resolving from left to right, um, this does this tick over? This doesn't tick over now. No, this only ticks over when it's forced to. Uh, nothing in the B stack. We're not building anything. We are gathering, but it auto succeeds. So we're going to take a wood and put it in the future resources space. So at the end of the round, this will move over. It's not, it, I mean, it is important. It is important to note that. So then I couldn't, you, I mean, the build action comes first anyways, but yeah, it is notable. Uh, all right, that's done. Now the explore action, and I need to read up exactly how this works. Uh, so we're going to roll the green dice. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to roll these dice. This is the dog rolling. Okay. We succeeded. Uh, this should be, yeah. We, we succeeded. Uh, cause we got this little like wishbone symbol on this die. So this die is pretty crucial. This one tells you whether you succeed or not. So if you get that symbol, you're good, 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 fail. You do gain two determination, but I don't think the dog can gain determination. So yeah, we succeeded. We did get a wound from this die, but the dog can't be wounded. So that's good. And we got an explore adventure, which means that... We're going to be putting this token on top of there. And next time we explore, we'll have to draw a card. The dog will have to draw a card. Actually. No, it's Friday that does that. I think Fr if he ever has to draw a card, he instead takes a wound. I believe. The dog, I don't know the rules for the dog. What? The dog doesn't draw a card, does he? He cannot die. Oh, wait a minute. Do I draw a card immediately? Double check that. Oh, okay. That doesn't put the token on. It doesn't immediately. So the dog doesn't do that because Friday doesn't draw the card either. But Friday, if he ever had, if he ever gets that symbol, he takes a wound. The dog can't be wounded. So yeah, the dog is really fucking good at exploring. Absolutely nothing happened, and it's a resounding success. So now, uh. If it's successful, draw the topmost island tile from the stack and place it face up.
Okay. So let's see. Uh, island. Uh, island stack. Uh, here. Right here. Okay. Oh, we found uh, the planes, I guess, is what that is. Okay, so it's got birds on it, which are just food. It's, it's the same thing as a fish. Uh, we get three discovery tokens, so let's shuffle that. These go here. All right, and it's got a beast card. So we have found a beast, which means we're going to shuffle this and put the first card there. So now we can start hunting beasts. This is a little risky, though. Because the deck is basically seeded with these cards. So the skull thing, that's how many weapons you need in order to beat it. Um, so this one, one strength card here, you only need one weapon to kill it. But as you can see, by far the most, I mean, the most common card is six strength. A lot of them are in the 3, 4, 5 range, but yeah, I mean, you don't really want to wade in there before you're ready, because for every strength above the weapon that you go in with, you take that many wounds. Which is kind of painful. Yeah, so, good. Now, I need to double check these discovery tokens. We got, uh, we got poison, which means that if I have a pot, I can discard that token to increase my weapon level by two, which is pretty sweet. I got the old machete, which just... Uh, increases my weapon level by one. And I got herbs, which if I had the pot, I could convert to plus one morale. Pot sounds pretty freaking good. All right, but since we discovered the planes, every invention that has that icon gets covered up. So now we can construct it because now these things don't require anything. Uh, and the bed. <laughs> okay. All right, good exploration. And uh, then the setup camp. So she gets two more determination points. And morale increases by one. Okay. That's it. All right, now the weather, which for one, two, three, four, one, two, three rounds is non existent. Just a nice sunny time. And then the night phase. We could move the camp to this tile if I wanted. Uh, but this has wood, so I think we're fine. Um, each player has to discard one food or we get two wounds. So we will dump that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you move... Right, okay, this all got moved into this section. Okay, good. We have two wood now. Uh, if you don't have a shelter, each player gets one wound. So that is going to happen. And discard all remaining perishable food unless other rules prevent it. But I don't have any other perishable food, so it is what it is. All right. You can see how, though, if you go in with, like, four players or something, it gets a little trickier. That Yeah, you definitely would want this food expedition. I mean, you really gotta... Food is a big concern. But for me, if I leave this camp on here, I'll always have one perishable food. So... Alright, this comes back, this comes back, this, 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 this. And, uh, that's the end of the round. Picks over to round two. Okay. 
Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Now we do an event. We get our first event here. Okay. And let me double check the event rules just to be entirely clear. Um, right. So this is going to add. Actually, this doesn't add. Does it? It, do it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. So the event cards would add these tokens to different decks, but this one just has that book icon there, which means that it's a scenario effect. But as you can see, the book is no effect for scenario one. Uh, put that token on the building action field. During the next build, you have to re-roll one success result. Oh my god. Uh... That sucks. Okay. Um... Then, this gets pushed over here. This is now here, so when we get another event card, the food crates will be pushed off and it'll no longer be available. Um, for this one... Uh, I can put an action here to get rid of this card and get a determination point. If I don't, and this eventually falls off, my morale goes down by two. So, now there is a detrimental effect if I don't pay attention to it. Uh, okay. That's all the event stuff. Morale. This is going to go up by one because we are just happy to be alive. Um, so now... I can take two, or two determination points or heal one wound. I think the determination points is the way to go. For right now. Alright, that's good. Uh, production, we get a wood and a food. Okay. Uh, right now would be before the action phase, so right now we can put wood here. We will put one wood there, that's all I can do this round. Getting it started, we're getting the pile started. Every pile starts with a single twig. All right, and now we got the action phase. So, of course, Dog is going to explore again. Um, I've got a lot of determination points. I could build the snare, but honestly, I, I don't even know if it's necessary. I am eventually... Eventually, we will not want to just rely on one food from my, from my camp. But right now, you know, we've got other options. Discarding two of the points to spend one wood less. I think that's kind of good. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Okay, I'm just looking at about this build reroll thing. I'm just looking what happens if you put two actions on it. Oh, hold on. We got an official designer response. Uh, okay, 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 okay. All right. 
Yeah, so if I put two on there, I automatically succeed, but this token will not go away until I actually have to re-roll, or I, until I actually have to roll. So, that's a concern. Uh, um... All right, I want to build the shelter, I suppose. But... I also want to build the rope. Let's... Oh, no. Mm hmm. It's a little tricky. Okay. We're gonna have to... There's gonna be a rolls of some point here, so I'm gonna... Uh... I'll auto-succeed on the shelter. It doesn't feel... it. It doesn't feel that crucial, but I guess there's not much else for me to do. Friday is going to be gathering wood. I mean, maybe I want that to auto-succeed. Maybe that's more important. Maybe I should just get rid of this reroll token. You know? <sighs> it actually tells me that that rule right there. Uh, hmm. <laughs> no, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, uh, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Moving on. So we don't do anything here. Don't do anything here. We get to this. We auto succeed. On the build action, I'm going to spend two determination points to spend one less wood. So that'll just be the one wood. And now our shelter is built, so we flip that. Then we go to the gather action. So Friday is going to have to roll these gray dice. And he took a wound, but he succeeds. Uh, okay. So we get a wood here. Then we're on explore. Basically just... He's got a 1 in 6 chance of failing and that's it. He succeeded, so it's all good. That's a, that was a perfect roll, actually. Uh, alright, so... Good, 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 good. Uh, flip over this. Shoop. We found a river. We add another beast card. And three more discovery tokens. A goat. A treasure. And healing herbs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What does the goat do? If the weapon level is at least one, this token can be discarded to gain one fur and one food. It can only be used while planning actions in the action phase or the end of the action phase or any other phase. <laughs> okay. Mm, it doesn't... Oh, so it's food whenever you might need it. You have a goat or... I guess that makes sense. It's a goat. You hang on to it until you need the food. That's cool. That'll give you one fur and one food. Ooh, we could get fur. <laughs> Oh, spicy. That could let us get the mast. Or a diary. <laughs> or a sack. Sack's not bad. During a successful gather, you get one additional resource of the gathered resource. That's not too shabby. Or the belt's also good. Free gather action every round. Uh, okay, that's good to know. The treasure... First player draws a treasure card from the mystery deck. Okay, let's just do that. I mean, that's what it's... That's what it's there for. Uh, so... Um... Right, so... The mystery deck contains... Beasts, traps, and treasures. 
And so we just get to draw until I get a treasure. Ropes. You can use them to reinforce your shelter. Plus one palisade or roof. Hey, now we're talking. All right. And the healing herbs. If the pot is available, discard to build the medicine item immediately. Mm. I assume you get to, like, search for it? In that case, you know? I think. Or I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, medicine is... Oh, the cure? If you have the pot before cure, you can just trade this in to get it. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I guess that's nice. You don't have to spend the build action. You don't have to do all that. Blah, blah, blah. But otherwise, we're going to be covering up the river tokens. So we can build the map now. We can build a dam. Very nice. Uh, the dam. Is this special card effect? Yeah, shouldn't... Hmm. Yeah, okay, I think the dam's just a one-time, non-perishable food benefit. Which isn't bad. It's it's really not bad. Alright, uh, that's the end. That is the end of that. Still no weather, so we're all good there. Night, again, we could move our uh, camp. We're going to discard the food to avoid wounds. Um, and that's pretty much it. See? It's not that complicated. Alrighty. Except we're an hour in and we're on round three, so that's good. <laughs> um, this might take a while. Uh, alrighty. Round three, here we go. Starting with the event. Mess in the camp. Takes time to clean that mess. So again, we have the... Uh, Scenario thing, which is nothing, but we're going to put. A symbol. I'm consuming action. Ah, let's read the rules. If this token is on an action space, the next action plan of that type must be assigned one additional pawn. Ah. Okay, that doesn't actually answer all my questions, though. Does it... Does it mean that, like... I assume what it means, then, is that I have to put two just to do it, and if I put two, I still have to roll. Whereas I'd have to put three in order to uh, do it... You know, without rolling. Um, but I mean, it's like, where the hell am I going to find this information in here? Why? Why didn't it say it in that little tooltip? That would have really solved some issues. Oh, here we go. Yep. Two instead of one, three instead of two. Okay. Great. Uh, right, so that was that. This gets shoved off and is gone. So this we can discard to get our determination point. If we let it fall off, we each just I discard a determination point. Okay, uh, uh, that's fine. Morale stays at three. I get another two determination points. We're farming that shit. We're so, we're so fucking happy. We can't stand it. All right, production. We get another wood. Oh, this got moved here. We got ropes. We got the. We got all this shit. 
We got all this shit. We got a food. Uh, but 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 Okay, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna spend the ropes, I guess. No reason not to. And we'll give ourselves a roof. Sure. Uh, the other tokens... I guess, um... Just spend the old machete so we have a weapon. Uh, I can't really do anything else. A lot of it's his pot. You gotta have a fucking pot to piss in. And we need to find some hills to make a pot. Uh, yeah, we don't need, we definitely don't need to kill the goat yet. We can, we can hold off on the goat. All right. Decisions, decisions. Dog, of course, is going to continue to explore. <laughs> you know, we just send him out there and he reports back on what he finds. It's great. A good dog. Oh, I forgot to do the wood. We're going to plop two wood down. Got to keep building that pile. All right, all right, all right, all right. So obviously I want to gather. I have to put two down just to try to gather. Building. Um... Yeah, we should go for the rope. Go for that rope. I think it'll be good. So let's do two. Two on gathering wood. And one on the rope. Now. Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, so if I put my token on something and I have to roll, I can take wounds and I can get cards, which I have never looked at one of these cards. I don't know if they're entirely bad or not. I assume they're sort of a mix. <laughs> um, whereas if Friday does a roll, he... He only takes wounds from those cards, but he could also take double wounds, and I really don't want him to die at any point. <laughs> so I think it's better if he just works as an aid. All right, we're going to build the rope. That's our turn. Let's get to it. Uh, nothing here. Nothing here here uh building we're gonna roll the dice i re-roll the success die if i get a success which i did i got the full gamut so we're gonna roll re-roll the success die you motherfucker all right well that definitely goes away we don't have to worry about that I'm going to take a wound, and I'm going to get a card, but I do get two determination. Now, I can discard two to re-roll any brown die, so I think we should do that, because determination, I'm getting them pretty, pretty fast and furious here. There we go, so that's better. All right, we're taking a wound. We're going to draw one of these cards. Coming to terms, if you debate about your future and come to realize that some of your ideas will be impossible to create under these conditions, discard three invention cards, shuffle into the event deck. Lack of ideas, you see a dark future for yourself, draw another... Okay, do I have to do both of these things? Uh... Usually... Usually it would tell you. Uh, no. My, this rule book. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. No. Wait, what? No? Wait, what? What does that symbol mean? 
This oh maybe in a, uh I think maybe I don't know what that's that symbol there means the event the event phase. So I think maybe sometime in the event phase it forces you to draw one of these cards instead, and then you do the bottom part, whereas we just do the top part. Um now when it says discard three invention cards, I'm just gonna pick three of these. Now I have to Google again. Discarding invention cards. Pick a number that you've not yet built. Discard them. And that's it. Great. All right. Well, if I have to pick stuff. Uh, uh, let's go with the diary. We don't need that. Let's go with um, bricks. I don't think I actually need bricks. And let's go with... Um, Hmm. The rest all might be good. I guess the shovel. Fuck the shovel. No one needs a shovel in life. No one ever. And then this gets shuffled back in, which is the real shit biscuit. Um. All right. Uh, that was that. We did succeed, though. So that's good. Uh, we get to flip this over. So now we have a rope. Okay, and then uh, the gathering. So this can fail. Of course. Hopefully not, but... This weren't built on... Hope, oh, shit. Alright, well we succeeded. We get rid of this, I think. Yep. We get rid of this, but we do get to draw one of these fabulous cards. Skeleton. While walking through the forest, you find a skeleton holding an old book and you take it. Shuffle into the event deck. Oh shit, was I supposed to shuffle that one into the... Uh, shuffle into the event deck. Whoops. How does that work? Oh! I see now. When it comes up in the event deck, that's when you do the bottom part, and then it usually makes you draw shit. Oh my god. It's sort of odd, though, isn't it? Because those don't have matching backs. I guess that's shuffled. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, all right, we did gather successfully, though, so we get that wood. And now the exploration, which, of course, you know, is going to succeed because the dog, the dog can't fail. See, the dog can't fail. It's perfect. So we get another tile. What do we got? We got another river. Damn it, dog. Quit following the river. Well, eventually the river will lead to mountains. It's got to happen. All right, we get, um, we don't add a mon a beast to the deck. We do get another discovery token. Oh, the pirate saber. Nice. Uh, this totem effect would apply, but the scenario doesn't have a totem effect. So that's fine. Okay, yes. Okay, good job, dog. Doing your bit. That's all good. All right, that's the end of our actions. So this gets moved here, this gets moved here. We can discard this token to add another weapon. Um, we're still not on weather, very soon. Next round, well, there will be rain. Uh, night phase, we get rid of the food, of course. We don't take the wound from not having shelter. We could move the camp but I still don't really think there is a need to. Uh, and that's it. 
Good, 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 good. Marching along. Um. Yeah, I like how clear things are now. So that's good. All right, ticking round four to four. Event. Blood. Water enters the camp and washes things away. So we put this here now. So now whenever you do an explore action, you have to draw the card. I don't know what the dog does with it. Well, I mean, if it was Friday, he would take a wound and this would get discarded. The dog is treated as Friday for pretty much every purpose, except he can't die. So I think he just discards this, which is great. Turn one item to invention side or minus one weapon or minus one palisade or each player gets a wound. Personally, I feel like of all those options, I think the wound is the best bet. That's just me. Uh, oh, fuck. Well, this is going to screw us. This you need the shovel to do. Uh, and since I don't, I can't build the shovel, I'm going to get minus one palisade. So I guess we'll just hold off on building the palisade until then. This falls off, though, which means morale goes down by two. Great. This goes move over here. This here. That's the event phase. Morale. I gain a morale, which means I gain due to two determination. So not really much difference there. Uh, production. We get to add a wood. Uh, and a food. Oh, that goes here. And do I spend the three wood to put on the pile or do I wait? I guess it's a matter of... No, because even if I... Even if I find the mountain this round, I'm not going to be able to hatch it till next round. Uh, or the mast. So, yeah, I think let's do it. A one. A two. A three. Okay. Produced. Uh, let's do our actions then. Dog, of course, exploring. No doubt about it. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's not right, is it? Have I been playing wrong? I don't know if I don't know. Either this might be an early version of the game or something. And between the the sort of English kind of thing here and what people said about the dog, this person said when when discussing the dog this here, this was from April 2015. The rule book specifically states the dog can only be used to support another player's token. Mine very clearly does not say that. He is used like a neutral action pawn in all respects. Oh, wait a minute. I think I fucked up then. 
I think I did fuck up. Because we have neutral pawns. Yes, neutral action pawns can only be used to support. Oh shit, I've been fucking up. That, that I mean, it makes far more sense. <laughs> makes far more sense that way. Uh, all right, let's retcon then. Let's retcon. I'm gonna remove these three wood. I'm just gonna remove them from the game. I think that's a fair balance. I think I still would have used them to explore every round. I just wouldn't have been able to probably gather as much. I mean, I still might have gathered. Uh, you know. Who knows, but that's the retcon I'm doing, and I'm happy with it. That makes far more sense than the dog just running around the island and telling you about his adventures. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so now the dog is still very good because it's just a free pawn to aid in exploration or hunting. Um... But I am going to have to commit either myself or Friday to the exploration. And this is the same thing I mentioned before. Friday has a chance of taking a lot of wounds. But, uh, oh, well, no, this token, he's going to, because of this, he's guaranteed to take one wound. Whereas if I go, I'll get an adventure card. Sort of a horse apiece, I guess. Uh, all right, I'll go. I'll go with the dog. That's fine. Um, I'm not building anything this round. Right? I could build the map. Oh, so the map adds a neutral exploration token, which... Neutrals can't... They have to... Yeah, neutrals can't uh, aid each other. So it's honestly not that useful for me, for me to ever get the map, except for making the shortcut which lets you put that token on any tile adjacent to your camp, and during the production phase, you get one... an extra resource. So that would let me start to stack ball more wood. That's not the worst thing I've ever heard of. Sorry, let's make this spicy. I'm gonna gather a wood there, and I'm gonna have Friday build the map. Okay, good. Let's begin. Starting with, uh, Friday building the map. He's going to roll the brown dice. He failed, and he takes a wound. Brilliant. Brilliant Friday. So he does get two determination, which he can use to re-roll a die uh, at some point. I don't know if he can do that immediately. That's probably says <laughs> that's sort of an interesting question can he re-roll uh, I don't really say. It's sort of like this paradox, though. Can he get determination tokens to re-roll the thing that gave him the determination tokens? No. Okay. They're very clear on that. <laughs> You're right. You can't have the paradox. All right, so that's what it is. It is what it is. Now, Friday can rest. He can go on the rest action in order to heal a wound. So there is that option. Um, But yeah, for now, he did not make the map. He is a failure. Gathering. Let's gather. That is a success with a card. Tracks of a Predator. It appears you are not the only one to explore this part of the island. Put 
that token on the tile where you're gathering resources. Starting next round, each time you take an action on this tile, your weapon should be at least one, or the player performing the action gets a wound. Okay, that seems fine. Yeah. While this token is on the tile with the camp or shelter, it also affects the build, arrange camp, and rest actions. Okay. But, you know, my weapon's at two. The weapon track can go down. I think it's not that crazy for it to go back down. Um, but yeah, for now we're fine, and I do gather. So that goes there. Okay. Then, the exploration. This is an auto success, so I don't have to roll the dice. I do have to draw this, though. So let's get to it. Shrine. Down in the valley, you spot a shrine in the woods. Decide. Discard this card or draw one mystery card, only resolve treasure, and shuffle this back in the event deck. Or into the event deck. Uh, in the event deck, it's going to put the reroll thing on the building, gathering, resource, and exploration action fields. <laughs> now, so I can draw the mystery card. I, I ignore all the, if, it, if it's a bad card, I ignore it. If it's a treasure, it's great. But the odds of that are kind of slim. And I'd have to put this in the event deck. But that seems far more interesting to me, so let's do it. Draw. Nope. Shit. Alright. Alright. Uh, Alright, but we do explore, so that's all good. We found some hills, baby! Alright, so we're going to put this here. Uh, why did I blank on these rules? Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, so we got the beast card. We get two discoveries, candles, and vegetables. So more pot stuff. Um, candles... Give you one neutral brown action pawn, which can be used for one build action and is discarded after the action is resolved. Okay, that's not terrible. Um, and we get the hills, so we can finally, finally make the pot. Praise Jeebus. Alright, that's the end. Uh, so now we're going to be rolling weather. We've got a rain cloud die. Roll that. All right, we got a rain cloud. Let's go back over to uh, the weather. All right. So what do we? We got a rain. I yeah, we got rain. Okay. So for each rain, you compare it to your roof level. That's how many clouds you're protected from. For every cloud that exceeds your roof level, you must discard one food and one wood. And for every resource you can't discard, you suffer a wound. So yeah, I'm glad we built the fucking roof. Holy shit. Yeah, that would be bad. So we're good. We're good. Okay, uh, that's the weather phase. Very exciting. Um, we have to discard our food. It's all good. It's a pleasure to discard my food because I have, I have the privilege of being able to eat it. And that's it. Okay. Round five. Uh, this moves here. This moves here. And this moves here. So now we get to basically auto succeed on a build action of our choice which is great
All right, event. Bad fate. Got a token here. Discard all cards from the threat action field and resolve their threat effects. Hmm. That seems kind of shitty, but all right. Uh, each player discards a determination point. Fine. And minus one to our palisade, which is fine. Okay, and that goes there. Yeah. All right. It's all good. Uh, morale goes up. I can gain another two, or I can heal a wound. I think we're going to be building a couple things, so we'll use those. Um, production. Yep, we get the wood. And we get the food. Uh... But I want to put the two wood there. Maybe not. I think our, our roof is fine for now. Maybe I want to build up the palisade a bit, or maybe I want to bump up my weapon a bit. Uh, but this, the poison's going to be really nice. We could start to hunt. Hunting, hunting allows you to get anywhere from two to five food, perishable food. And zero to two fur. I'm not in desperate need of food right or fur right now, but there are multiple things I want to build that ha that need fur. So eventually, aside from the goat, we will need it. All right. Um. So the poison will put me at four. Which means I have a good odds of killing something. Put one wood there, I guess. Okay. Planning phase. We definitely want to build the pot. That's for certainty. I'm going to spend the candle. I'll just put the candle there. We know what it does. Um, so he's going to auto succeed, which is great. I don't think I'm going to actually use the dog this turn. I don't think I'm going to explore. I think I got other things that are slightly more pressing. Uh, I'm going to go with the map, and I'm going to use Handyman to discard three in order to get a free uh, guy. Uh, neutral builder. Okay. And then my other token will be on Gathering. Which is going to trigger that, but, you know, it's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. Okay, that's everything. So... Building. Uh, yep, this... They both auto-succeed. So we can flip the map. So now we get a free neutral pawn for exploring, but that's what the dog is, so it's not really necessary. Um, this auto succeeds, so now we finally have the pot to piss in, which is wonderful. We get all sorts of benefits for that. Uh, um, gathering, we got to roll the bones. Incredible. I love it. Uh, we still have to draw the card, but other than that, we succeed. E eyes in the bushes. You feel that something is watching you. Shuffle into the event deck. Okay, well, that won't bite me in the ass later. Um... Right, so we get the wood. Yes. And that's it. That's the round. So we're going to push this down and 
Uh, debating about giving the vegetables to Friday. Unless I can split it up, then I might be interested in doing that. One wound on two characters. Okay, I'll probably do that, but it says I can only do it during the night phase, which... How would I know that otherwise? Uh, we don't need that. Let's just dump this right now to bump this to four. You never know. Uh, let's dump this to build the cure. Uh, yeah, I mean, they call it medicine, but I'm pretty sure they mean cure. Not that that really does anything for me, so I don't know what point is but you never know they might come up uh yeah that's fine that's fine so let's roll the rain cloud which unless i roll the one snow thing we're fine we're fine we're fine uh night phase we dump the food and we're all good round six see the rounds are going faster now we got it all down Neutral builders there, mine, mine, this. Okay. Vent face. Strong wind. The wind hits the camp again and again. Working today won't be easy. All right, it's a little trickier to build. All right, fine. Uh oh. If I don't don't if I don't get rid of this uh tool maintenance, I have to turn an item face up to invention side. Uh well, I mean I could do that for the cure, but maybe that's not the best idea I've ever had. Alright, um What is aiding with hunting actually do? Oh, you have to go with two pawns for hunting. Interesting. Okay, let me consider options here. Uh, well, first, morale goes up and we get two more tokens. Oh, I was going to do the food. Heal a wound. Heal a wound. Get rid of the vegetables. Um production we produce a wood and a food mm. yeah I could make the mass now if I kill the goat let's kill the goat kill the goat I get a fur and a food. Um, and we're going to... Yeah. We're going to make the mast. But... Oh, wait a minute. Now I have to spend an action to build the mast. Right. Okay. But... I can make it just cost one fur, so I don't actually need the wood. So I'm going to put, I guess it doesn't matter, but I'm going to put two there right now. Okay. Action phase. We need two pawns. Uh, yeah. We're going to build the mast. Let's have Friday assist. <sighs> and... I do need to explore. I need to keep exploring in order to get the fire. So I think let's make this the exploration with the dog. It's a guaranteed success. There's really no downside. So let's just make it happen. Alrighty. 
Uh, I know I said I was going to do that tool maintenance, but maybe next round. Um, okay, building. We do have to roll. Uh, and we have to spend. So I'm going to spend two determination. So it just cost me one fur. Okay. Now we roll. Fuck. Uh, we got the whole gamut. We can discard two to re-roll any brown die. Let's go with that. All right. Well, we got a success. We get a wound, which is acceptable. We get a card, which is less acceptable. Lack of hope. Discard three invention cards. Jesus. All right, fine. If we're making tough decisions here, I guess let's get rid of um, the bed. And... Uh, belts or sack? Well, damn. I want one of those. I guess belts. That might be stupid of me. I don't know. Okay, uh, we do auto-succeed, though, so we get to build the mast. Which adds three wood immediately to this pile. Which is pretty solid, gotta say. Getting that pile built. And hey, as soon as we get the pile built, we get the fire and we're done. Game over. Okay, uh, no gathering. Exploration automatically succeeds. No tokens, no cards, no bullshit. And look at that, we found the mountain. Huzzah. We get a discovery. Nourishing larva. Yum. Uh, discard immediately at the end of the action phase. Place two food in available resources. Okay. That's all going to get kind of wasted. Um, but we found the mountain. So now we can build a fire. And the hatchet. Which is kind of good. Okay, uh, that's the end of the action phase. Weather, we're gonna... This is our last turn with just the one rain die. Oh, that's double rain clouds. Well, now we're fucked. Oh, I have a lot of food, though. Okay, sweet. Uh... Discard one food, one wood per point of difference. Okay. So, right. We got to get rid of a food and we have to get rid of a wood, which sucks. I was hoping to complete that at the start of the next round. Oh, I still can do that. That's fine. Okay. That's weather. Night. Uh, we discard a food for eating and we have the pot. We have the pot. Let's not neglect the pot. Once per night phase, you can spend one food to heal one wound. Um, I will do that. Because otherwise it's wasted anyways. And this one I think gets wasted. Alright. Great. Great, great, great. Um, that's the end of that round. We've got ourselves an event. Cloudburst. Uh, we got a token here. Move your camp to an adjacent tile of your choice. Okay, we'll just go with this one. Makes no difference to me. Uh, ooh. Discard this card and get plus one roof, plus one palisade, only if you lost by moving the camp. Hmm. Yeah, so when you move your camp voluntarily, you do... Uh... 
you do have to you lose resources there's an FAQ here oh okay so I think that does apply so let's see here Camp can be moved. You have the roof and palisade level if shelter's been built. You have the... Okay, round... Now I have to look up if it's rounding up or down. Uh, moving the camp. So if I didn't have the shelter, the roof and palisade would go to zero. Uh... Wait a minute. Round up. Okay, so one does not go to zero. All right, we're fine. Okay, but that means that that's actually... The bottom part is completely useless, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, this gets dumped, so I have to discard another determination token. This moves here, this moves here. Uh, morale means I get two determination tokens, so that's good. Um production we get a wood and a food as usual and uh, blah 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 yeah and then I can put that wood here close we're close the fire the pile is getting built all right actions Hmm. Hatchet's good. We should go with a hatchet. Um, I can spend two points to make it uh, free. So we should do that. Um... One person's going to go here. A Friday, do that. You go here. Do I double up on that or do I gather? Hmm. Or I could build the fire now. Fire gives me a palisade level, which is kind of good. I do need a lot of wood, though. Hmm, it's hard to say. Now, I don't think I properly prepared, so I don't know. I guess let's gather. I do need the wood. Oh, boy, okay. It's going to be ugly. All right. Uh, he resolves this. He's not the best person. I'm. Uh, let's change that. Yeah, he's going to gather. He's just going to take the wound for that. She's going to get the determination point. So she does this. Uh, so she gets a determination point. That's done. Uh, then the build action goes. She's going to spend two, so she doesn't have to spend a wood because she can't. I'm trying to remember if this was... Hmm, I don't remember. Uh, I'm trying to remember if this was the game where... Hmm, hmm, I don't even want to say it because I could be wrong. Uh, so yeah. In order to build something, the required items and resources must be available at the start of the action phase. Which is sort of a bummer, because I don't need the wood in order to do it. Uh. Uh. I... 
I feel like uh, they're going to tell me that this does not override that rule and you still need... I, I need the wood there, even if I'm not going to be spending it, ultimately. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay, I'm wrong. I can do it that way. Excellent. Uh, but you can't do it if you're planning on getting the determination through the threat thing. Because that gave me one token. I wouldn't be able to use that as part of this process. So it ha I would have to start the action with the two. Which I did, so we're all good. Unfortunately, she still has to roll, so I don't know. Maybe I don't lose the determination if it fails. We didn't fail, so we're fine. I do take a wound, but at this point, I think that's perfectly acceptable. I thought wounds were going to come a lot faster and harder, and they, and they might, actually. Now that we're rolling all three weather dice. But I do succeed, so that's good. We get the hatchet, uh, so I get to put this token here. Um, oh, so I get, oh, so I get a wood for free during production, an extra one, and also whenever I gather there, I get an extra wood. Now, I don't know if that applies right now. But I don't know if I... I guess I should look it up. Uh, but, uh, no, no, no. No. No, no. Uh, okay. Uh, if it's gathered... Yeah, it doesn't say it doesn't apply. So, yes, I think right now Friday's gonna gather... Two fucking wood. He does have to roll. There is a chance he'll fail. And there is a chance he could die, actually. Um, uh, pretty damn close. He's gonna be taking two wounds. But Friday, my man, you got two wood. What could be better? Uh, all right. That's that's it. Yep. Okay, now it gets real dicey. We are rolling all three weather dice. So now snow is going to start hitting us. And uh, wild animals could start fucking with us. It's all around not a good, not a good thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So Palisade's at zero. So that means this does not decrease it. Instead, we receive a wound. So we're going to do that. Told you they're gonna be coming hot and heavy. We got two winter clouds. That's like the worst. It is the worst. Okay, so for every for every snow cloud, um, you're fucked. I think that's what it says. Uh, subtract roof level from some of snow. Okay, or discard one wood per snow cloud. God damn it! That's not from future, that's from current. Right, so... She's gonna take two more wounds for that. Plus... Two more wounds for the total. Uh... Right. Oh, one food and one wood. I'm really fucked. <laughs> After I just said the wounds were coming in hot and heavy enough. Uh, now we're fucked. 
Um, oh no, this this did come this did become active at the end of the action phase. So that is all active. I just lose it. So um right, so we took the wound. Two winter clouds. We discard the wood, so that's solved. But then the three clouds compared to our roof covers one. So that means now I have to discard two f two more wood and two more food. So I'm going to take three wounds for that. One, two, three. I skipped over that morale thing, so morale goes down by one. And now I'm not going to be able to eat food, so that's nice. Uh, I get two more wounds for not being able to eat. So one, two, and morale goes down by another point. Wow. The first storm hit, and I just fucking almost died. Oh, I was doing so... I'm so... I was so healthy and happy. That's great. So that's why you start needing more food, is because of all that shit. Fuck. All right, moving on, round eight, uh, event, sure it'll be terrible. In the morning, you find a dead body on the beach. It's one of your shipmates. That was like months ago, man. Um, okay, morale goes down again. That's good. Okay, uh, morale goes up by one, though, because I'm just happy to be alive, so I get a determination token. And we produce. We get one food and two wood right away, right out the gate. I'm gonna... hold on to the wood. We still haven't built the fire, so I'll hold on to it. Uh, okay. That's all that. So... Jeez. Yeah, now it's a little tricky. Um... Yeah, I could gather for two more wood. I mean, that's certainly doable. Let's have Friday do it. I'm gonna build the fire. And... If I build... Oh, no, I don't have fur. Fuck. I need to hunt. Alright, let's risk a hunt action. What's the worst that could happen? Alright. Let's do it. Uh, threat is nothing. We start with the hunt then. So we're going to be drawing the top card. Uh, it's strength five. And it does minus one to your weapon. So this is good. This is, this is exactly what I wanted. Uh. Now, where's the gear? Right, so I'm going to be taking... Oh, I do have an empty bottle. That can help. I don't think I can use it twice instantly, though. It would be fantastic if I can. I'll tell you that much. Hmm... Uh... I don't know. I don't know, actually. Um... Me... I mean, look, Google. This is kind of important. Um. Uh. 
Beast Hunt again. Uh. Okay. Sounds like I can use it now. I don't know if I can use it twice. That's what I'm trying to find out. them just once per round I don't know where it ever says that but according to uh, this random poster you can only use it once per round um, oh here we go Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any time. Okay. What? Only be used by one character per round. Now, oh, wait a minute. It doesn't actually say that. Uh... Doesn't actually say that. So here's the thing though. Here here's the real thing. I didn't fully <laughs> this just adds one to your weapon thing. And I, I could have done it at, at the start of the game, basically. There's no reason not to. So I would have done this if I had been, you know. A full comprehending what was going on. So we're going to pretend I did it. <laughs> I only actually I only needed to do it once anyway, so I don't know why I was spending all this time looking. All right, whatever. Um, so we kill it. We do lose a weapon thing, so we are back to five. But I get three food and two fur. There you go, baby. We're in business. And then this gets discarded, I assume. Uh, we killed a chamois. This is a two hour video already, and I'm still not. <laughs> I don't really care at this point. I don't even know if I'll upload this, uh, but I've said that before. All right. Building. She is definitely building the uh, fire. Uh, she doesn't. She can't spend two determination to reroll one of these. So keep that in mind. Uh, and she will because she failed. She failed, and she's a big failure. Let's not fail. There you go. I do get a wound, which means morale ticks down again. Uh, and we get a card. Broken tool. If possible, turn one item face up to invention side and cancel its effect. All right, that'll be cure. Great. But... I do build the fire, so it's done now. We just got to get that wood there. And uh, Friday is going to be gathering. He certainly won't fail because he's great. I don't know if that's... All right, it's done. Good, perfect. Friday's the man. We get two wood here. Assuming this, this, the, the weather dice isn't, uh, uh, brutal. Oh, and I could have used the storm glass to maybe prepare, but what's done is done. I feel like I'm probably going to die, but, uh, let's see how it goes. All right, that's all the actions. So this all gets shunted 
southward. Um, let's get rid of these herbs to bump up morale. That seems smart. All right, weather dice. Let's roll them bones. Oh my god. It was the worst case scenario. Well, actually, no, not really. This is not snow, so I don't have to lose wood. I do have to discard a food for the red one. Actually, the red one comes last. So we've got four clouds and one roof, which means I have to get rid of three, three food and three wood, which means we're not going to be able to finish this at the start of the next round. Um, yep. Three food, three wood. I'm not going to take any damage, which I guess is fine, but it's getting dicey. Oh, I am going to take damage because of the stolen food. I have to discard a food. Damn. Those food costs are hefty. I think I'm dead. Oh, I'm not quite dead. All right. Two more wounds. I'm on death's door. And uh, that's the end of the round. All right. Oh, and I can't even win until round 10 anyways. So I guess it's fine. We should focus on just staying alive then. Stay alive. Event. Event, event, event. Heavy rain is coming. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, no, not that one. Not that one. This one. Uh, we get to put this token in the weather space. So we're adding a rain cloud guaranteed. This falls off, but nothing bad happens. Blah, blah, blah. Morale. This ticks to two, so I get two determination. And uh, we produce, so I get two more wood and a food. We're definitely not bending the wood. Very much might need it. Uh, okay. All things considered, though, I might hunt again, because that did give quite a bit of food. Uh, so I think... I don't know why I put it there. Uh, I think we're gonna hunt. The dog can help out. Trying to decide. Well, let's roll. Uh, let's roll the storm glass. We can see what we need. We can see exactly what we need. Okay, we're gonna damage the palisade. Oh, didn't I build the fire? Yeah, I built the fire, so I got one. All right. So that's gonna tick down to zero. We've got two winter clouds. So that's going to eat up two wood right away. And then that's a total of five clouds. Which is just monstrous, really. Um, so I definitely think we should build the roof. We can spend a fur to do that. I don't know if I can build it. I think you can build it as like two separate things. Probably would be my best bet. So it's actually two separate actions. Rather than gathering, which has that token. Yeah. Okay, let's give this a try. I probably will still die, but you never know. Alright, um, starting with hunting. Shuffle this. We got us a bear. We got us a bear. So I am definitely failing. I've got nothing that can help out now. I exhausted that bottle real fast. Damn, fucking six strength bear. So this goes down. Well, no, first I take. Oh, well, first I die. <laughs> first I fucking die. Right. Because the dog can't take the wound. Uh. Um. Yeah. I think that's just game over. I don't think you resolve any other actions. I think you just die. Uh, I'm sure it's somewhere. 
I don't know why I'm bothering to look this up because we all know what it's going to say. It's going to say is if you take wounds, uh, you die and the game immediately ends, so on and so forth. Oh boy. Yeah. I don't know. Rule books, man. Fucking rule books. Sort of odd I don't just find it. So, seriously, where is it? Now I'm now I'm a little annoyed. Yeah, it's like probably like two lines of text somewhere in here. Um that you just have to there it is. End of the game. You lose immediately if a character dies. So if anyone dies, does that include Friday? That doesn't include Friday. That would be real fucking shitty. Uh, no, okay, you don't. <laughs> All right, well, that's that. I lost. After two hours. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's not that complex, all things considered. I mean, yeah, it's heavier than, like, Pandemic or, or, or something like that, of that caliber. There's a number of tokens and cards and effects and dice and there's a lot to juggle. There's a lot to, to handle. You know, it's not an easy game right out the gate. This is the first scenario and um, I was kind of close, sort of. But yeah, I think definitely if I did it a second time, I'd have a much better idea of uh, how I should be managing things. And I got kind of unlucky by drawing the six strength bear. That could have gone. What if I had drawn the other card? There, I got it. I would have gotten a tape here. I would have gotten two food and a fur out of that, which still wouldn't have been enough. I think I still would have died. Yeah, that would have only been three food total. And I was about to take uh, five. If that was at three, that would have been two. Oh, no, that might have been just enough. But I would have lost two wood. So I would only have been at three for the start of the next round. So I wouldn't have been able to win next round. I would have to have survived another round. In which case I probably would have ended up fighting the bear without upgrading anything and then I would have died. So yeah, either way, I was kind of screwed. Interesting game. Um... I mean, I certainly wouldn't rank it as, like, my favorite co-op game. But I would say it's kind of up there, just because I'm usually not that big of co-op games. Not a big fan of co-op games, other than dungeon crawls or Cthulhu Mythos kind of stuff. Um... Yeah, it's hefty. It probably could use some streamlining. Um... I'm kind of curious about the collector's edition. But yeah, I don't know. I it's it's a thing of I would never play it solo just on a table. I only it, yeah, I find playing solo on tabletop simulator, but if I'm going to buy a board game, it's to play with other people. So, I'd be curious how this plays with other people. With everyone sort of juggling actions and having more characters involved and more food to be consumed. I bet it gets really painful. <laughs> um, and that's the thing about, you know, putting two hours into something just to just to fail and just to die at the end. The the journey has to be really entertaining. Um, and I, I, I just I don't know. I just wonder if it would be entertaining with a group of people. What does BGG say it's best with? Uh, best none. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, the BGG is very split on what it's best with. Uh, it goes one to four. It's very recommended across the board, 
uh, for every player count between one and four, but um, the highest percentage of best is at three, and the lowest is at four, which I found like every co-op game that I've been testing, no one really thinks it's the best at the highest player count. And I think that's a problem with basically every co-op game or most co-op games. It's just two to three tends to be the sweet spot for almost all these games. Or four sometimes. Um, I, I wouldn't mind getting some people on Tabletop Simulator just to try it and just to go through this Castaways thing and just see uh, how fun it is before I'd be like, yeah, I should buy that game. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Collector's edition. Got three days left on the on the Kickstarter. It reached its goal in 18 minutes. Although it did not have a big goal, but it's at 1.5 million euros. This isn't even a Kickstarter. This is Game Found. Never even heard of this. But Jesus, they've got some fucking minis in here, man. There's like this giant like fort mini. Or it's not even it's not a mini. It's a modular camp model. This is just like a big uh it's like something I'd see in the 90s, but obviously way higher quality of just like this big fort you construct. That's awesome. Huh. And it comes with like every, you know, everything they ever made for it and new scenarios. Um, there's a horror scenario, mini expansions, a horse companion. A cat companion? Oh my god. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll probably play it again solo. And then maybe I'll try to get some people on here on Tabletop Simulator. Um... I, yeah, I kind of like it, but... It's hard to say if I'm enamored enough to actually buy the whole game compared to like too many bones where I was like, yes, this is going to get played. This is great. I don't know. It's it's big and it's kind of complicated, so it's hard to say. But all right. This has been a long enough video. So my name is Mang. This has been Robinson Crusoe. Uh, I forgot the name of the game. Adventures on the Cursed Island. There you go. <laughs> I'll see you find folks around.